Hey what's up guys, Pro here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So today we're back on Clash Royale, we are going to be taking a look at this deck right here today. It's pretty good, I've played a few games with it before. It's of course got the Mother Witch and the Electro Giant, two cards in my opinion, which are very good right now. And it should be a lot of fun to use. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you do go ahead and subscribe. And if you happen to want to enjoy this video as well, feel free to drop a like and a comment, both of which are greatly appreciated. But let's jump into game number one. All right, guys, here we go. Game number one. So let's see if we can pick up a win. Hopefully I can. It will be very nice if I'm able to do so, of course. So what we'll do is we'll just go in with the Mother Witch and the Inferno Dragon, I guess. He'll probably have a Zap spell. Okay, maybe he doesn't. That's interesting, actually. I did expect him to have the... A zap spell but what we'll do is we'll just hover the tornado just in case i'm actually going to lightning spell i know it's probably not really worth it to do that but i do want to just try and get as much damage as possible he did actually have to zap spell as well so i mean it was okay now we're pretty much evens because the balloon does an absolute like ludicrous amount of damage and now we're pretty much even in fact we're winning so i'd say it was worth it think what you like let me know if you think that was a good play in the comments down below but Either way, we'll go Electro Giant right now, and it's time to release the Beast. So the Beast is already coming down. We do see the Lava Hound. I don't really have too many Lava Hound counters, I'd say, but hopefully we shall be fine. The only concern really is the the Balloon, because, of course, you saw what it did, and you can easily just repeat that again. So we'll go Inferno Dragon right here for this. If he goes Balloon on the left-hand side, we may actually be in a bit of trouble. We'll just go ahead and Tornado everything into the Electro Giant, and that should be tower number one. So I can't see him defending this. Maybe he might be able to. Nope, never mind. So we do take the tower out. Perfect. One of the skeleton dragons do go down as well. Hopefully we can actually take this one out right here. And that should be quite a good attack. So we didn't really take any damage at all, I don't think. I think he may like got one lava hound shot. Or one lava pup shot. Either or. Basically the same thing anyway. So yeah, this one is looking very good right now. So... What we'll go ahead and do next is we'll just build up the push on the left hand side I think. We'll go with the Electro Giant at the back. He does of course go with the Balloon which isn't really ideal. However we don't really have too much for it right now. The Dragon was out of cycle. The Inferno Dragon of course. And the other units weren't really there to be seen. So we'll just go all in on the left hand side. We do have double splashdown right now in terms of the Dark Prince. We do also have the like other units as well, the bomber, we do have the mother witch slowly making a way in, inferno dragon's down, he can't really defend this I don't think, and that should be tower number two, perfect, so we did, yeah, we take the second tower right there, we'll just go in with the electro giant in the middle, the mother witch is just literally so good right now in my opinion, and then we'll just go over here, he'll probably go with the minions, of course, they are right there, and now we should be able to... We'll just try and lighten as well. The Mother Witch actually survived. That card is so, like, overpowered, in my opinion. And that's going to be the game. So, game number one was great. We did get a three-crown win. Let's jump into game number two and see if we can do the same. All right, guys, here we go. Game number two right now. Let's see if we can pick up another win. Hopefully, I'm able to do so. We'll just go with a Goblin Cage. I didn't really expect the Hog Rider so quickly. I mean, I should have done, but sadly, I didn't. And the Goblin Cage did do okay. So what we'll do next is we'll just allow the Goblin Cage to do his own thing right there. We do actually see the Wizard, and we do manage to pick up one shot onto the Wizard right there. And now, of course, the Wizard everyone uses at this trophy range. I should have probably expected it, but either way, we're going in, and hopefully we can do some good damage right here. So we'll go with a... I've got a feeling he's going to have Mega Knight. I've just... I don't know. My sixth sense is going off. I can sense the Mega Knight. Maybe I can't, but hopefully I'm right, so... Well, hopefully I'm not right because I don't really want to face it because it's like really boring. Every game is against Mega Knight, but hey, that's a different story for another day. So we'll go Bomber at the back right now for the whatever he deploys. If he okay, there it is. There's the Hog Rider. We'll go with a Tornado. Hopefully I did not mess it up. Perfect. And there we go, King Tower activation. So in my opinion, without saying it's over, this one's basically over, guys. I can't see the opponent like coming back from this one right here, but hey, you never know. I've seen stranger things happen, and I don't want to say it's over before it really is. So we do see the Sparky. Again, not something I really expected to see from the opponent, but I'm sure we'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is we'll just go right here. We'll, I do want the Mother Witch to eliminate the Sparky before it shoots, and the Lightning Spell did assist in that, and this one is looking really good. So I'm going to... I tried to save the Night Witch, uh, the Mother Witch, and sadly I wasn't able to. We'll just Tornado this over here just to eliminate it. 
I know I could have probably got the Inferno Dragon to lock onto the King Tower, but I'd rather just take out the Executioner. So, yeah, this one's looking really good right now. About to hit Double Elixir. We do have the Goblin Cage ready for the Hog Rider if, of course, we do see it. I'm sure we will do. We've seen it twice already, so why not see it again? So, we'll just go Bomber at the back. He does actually go with the Goblin Gang, not really too sure. For some reason, I deployed the Cage. I don't know why I did, but... Yeah, now he's pretty much got a, like, a three... Like a free path to the arena tower. However, he did actually go sparky on the left hand on the right hand side, allowing us to push left and hopefully get a three crown. So sadly, he does have the Tesla. And that's going to pull my units over to the left hand side a little to the right hand side a little bit. I don't know why I keep mixing them up when I clearly know which side I'm on about. So either way, Inferno Dragon did get some good damage right there. He does have mirrored hog rider. Not something you see every day. <laughs> it's definitely not something you do actually see every day. We'll just go over here. We'll sacrifice the bomber right here. Just to make sure we don't really take too much damage from the spark here. Sadly, we didn't get the three crown. But hey, we did get the win either way. And I will take it. So that's going to be the game. We'll take it. We could have played a lot worse. I could have even lost. So I don't know. There it is. Alright guys, here we go. Game number three. So let's see if we can pick up another win. I do want to try and end on a 3 crown. I feel like that would be a perfect way to end the video. So hopefully we can achieve that in this game. So we do see the E-barbs. Not really too sure what we're facing. There's a lot of like decks with E-barbs. And especially a lot of random decks with E-barbs. So we'll just go with the Goblin Cage I guess. I'm going to just tornado everything over here. It's probably not the play to make. But I mean I've probably lost the tower anyway. Yeah, I've, yeah that was a bad play. That was a no. Yeah, I should not have done that. So, hope... Oh, the skeleton army. Come on, really? Literally, the Inferno Dragon was a pixel off reaching the tower, but... Oh, well. It's going to be one of these decks. You just know it's going to be, like, completely random and everything else. So, let's see what we can do. So, hopefully I can get to 8. Hopefully we can just uh, at least, like, defend this tower as well. That would be a good start. We do have a good amount of pigs going in right now from the Mother Witch. In fact, we have loads of pigs right now. Look how many pigs there are. Oh my. Look at that. <laughs> we, we just took the tower for free from the pigs. Like, the Mother Witch is just absolutely insane right now. If you're not using the Mother Witch, you should probably look into it. You should really look into it, in fact. So, you did actually have to zap spell the King Tower. There still are three pigs remaining. The Dark Prince is going into the King Tower. We do see the Skeleton Army. And I should have probably not done that. But hopefully the Dark Prince can take it out. I really hope so. Come on, Dark Prince. Okay, good. So all we have to do now is Lightning Spell, and that's going to be the end of game number three. So hopefully he doesn't Lightning Block it. I really hope not. Let's just go for it, and there we go. So game number three was good. We did get a like really insane Mother Witch play right there, and hopefully you did enjoy it as much as I did. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. There is the deck. Feel free to give it a try. And apart from that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.